Hello and welcome to the screencast of the OMI Health Clinic Management System slideshow presentation by Team Omicron, Team Number 5. My name is Matthew Santana. Joining me for this demonstration is Franco Schwimm. Hello. Kevin Nell. Hello. And Dane Lang. Hi. In this video, we'll be providing you with a brief background of why we elected to make the system for our final project. So without further ado, let's get started. Effective clinic management is a problem that is facing many South African clinics due in part to a lack of IT systems infrastructure and available clinic IT systems. There is currently no digital system in place within South Africa that caters to the needs of government clinics and privately sponsored clinics. This brings us to our sponsor of our project. Our sponsor for the OMI Health System is the Itzotzen Clinic situated in Johannesburg in the immediate vicinity of Cosmo City. The clinic comprises of a few shipping containers that have been retrofitted to suit the needs of a clinic. The OMI Health Clinic Management System will provide a means for effective clinic management by including elements of a full ERP-based system into a package tailored to suit the needs of South African clinics, whether private or public. The Etsotsen Clinic is a government-sponsored clinic and as such provides fundamental medical care to the community, charging a small fee for certain clinic services. The clinic provides services such as antenatal care, immunization and primary health care services to mention a few. The clinic staff complement is mainly volunteer based and consists of one medical doctor, four registered nurses and various caregivers who assist the doctor and nurses with language translation and other administrative tasks. The clinic currently makes use of a paper based system whereby all documents are stored in files and nothing has been digitized. As part of our system solution, we will eliminate most of the paper-based system and digitize as many documents as possible. I will now be handing over to Franco, who will be discussing the current problems that the clinic is facing in more detail. Thank you, Matthew. There is currently no electronic system in place to handle any administrative task or aid the, the clinic staff with their day-to-day -day duties. However, there are computing devices available at the clinic as well as Wi-Fi internet facilities. The current staff are not very comfortable with using computerized systems, so to help overcome this problem we plan to implement a video tutorial system that will help the staff members at the clinic. The next point I will be discussing is the fact that the current system of the clinic is very inefficient. Often doctors have to wait for files to be retrieved from a manual fil filing cabinet and the lack of a computerized system decreases efficiency and the quality of care by wasted consultation time. The final clinic problem I'd like to point out is that the clinic often experiences con um, stock control problems. Having a system in place to digitally manage stock will increase efficiency within the clinic in addition to the increase in efficiency, having a proper stock control system will help prevent theft by providing a digital audit trail. Now I will be handing over to Dane, which will be discussing the main functionality of our system. Thank you, Franco. I will be discussing some of the main functionality that our system is going to provide. As a clinic's primary clients are its patients, we are implementing a sophisticated patient management system. In order for our project to succeed in the medical industry, it has to comply with industry-specific good practices, such as being able to store patient information securely and being able to keep stored information such as medical history private. In addition to the patient management system, included in our project is a stock management system to help with keeping record of all stored medication. Included as a part of this system will be the ability to inform users, such as the pharmacist, about medication batch numbers, stock quantity, and other relevant information. All of this information is important to store. For instance, if there is a bad batch of medication that has been released, the pharmacist will be able to quickly call up details about the medication in question and remove the items from the shelves. We will be demonstrating this functionality later in this video. As part of the system, reports will be generated for each user based on their particular usage of the system that will help users to make better, more informed decisions. An example of this would be if the clinic administrator wanted to check the average time it takes for a patient to be screened 
throughout the various clinic stations. I will now be discussing some of the additional functionality the system will be providing to its users. One of the most important, as mentioned earlier, is record security. All sensitive information will either be hashed or encrypted to prevent a loss of confidential information. The system will also provide a fundraising platform where external benefactors will be able to allocate funds or resources such as medical equipment to the clinic. Benefactors that register themselves may be contacted by the clinic and therefore help with keeping the clinic sustainable. The final aspect of our system to consider is that it will provide a means of central access to information with the use of a centralized database structure aiding in the fast distribution of information to various OMI Health system users. I will now be handing over to Kevin, who will be discussing how we will be adding value to our system, as well as some system-specific details. Thank you, Dan. With all of the functionality our system will provide, we have found the following three ways in which we could add value for the client. The first of these three ways will be to increase clinic efficiency, by helping to save time. The system will be able to save time for users by helping in reducing the need for administrative tasks such as data capturing. This will allow more time to be spent on the consultation of patients by the various medical professionals. In addition to the administrative time saving, patients and clinic workers will be able to use a user-tailored scheduling system. This will help improve efficiency within the clinic concerning patient appointments. The second factor to consider is that the system will improve general clinic organization and functioning by providing valuable information via reports. These reports contain key performance indicators based on metrics such as waiting times, service quality and trend analysis. An example of this would be to measure if there is an increase in patients with the flu the doctor will be notified and will then be able to notify the pharmacy to increase the ordering of flu medication for the patients. The final and possibly one of the most important points to consider is that the system should be easy to use. In order to accomplish this task, the system is going to be programmed to be more intuitive than traditional clinic systems. We plan to accomplish this outcome by, by providing users with a user interface that is uncomplicated and actively helps the users to reduce errors within the system. I will now be elaborating on some of the more unique attributes of our project. One of the distinctive aspects of our project will include tablet PC integration in the form of an, a Windows 8 RT application. This will help better integrate and connect the clinic. This will allow doctors and nursing staff to be able to go out and make house calls due to the inherent mobility of the tablet computer. I will now be passing back to Franco who will provide a brief explanation of our specific system technology. Thank you Kevin. For our website implementation, we are using ASP.NET along with VB.NET, which will include the use of AJAX, JavaScript, and jQuery for some, for some UI features. We are using Microsoft SQL Server for our database services. In order to keep our database cons content consistent, we are making use of WCF services to manage all database interaction within our system. For our mobile application, we are using Windows 8 RT along with the XAML language. All of these will be implemented within the Visual Studio 2012 environment. This, this concludes our slideshow presentation of the OMEALTH Clinic Management System. Thank you.